AI has taken over like a storm, and it has so much to offer, like writing code and giving you information to stuff, and even doing your math homework. But did you know now with AI, you can literally talk about something and it will draw what you want for you. We're talking about the new text-to-speech AI by Meta. Do you know about GAN? It's short for Generative Adversarial Network, a kind of artificial intelligence that's used to generate new data that Meta uses in its text-to-image technology. This generator is responsible for generating images from just talking about it. How this works is GAN is made up of two networks, the generator and the discriminator, that fight against each other. The generator tries to make fake data, while the discriminator tries to tell if it's real or fake. Then, the generator and discriminator are trained together in a process called adversarial training. In adversarial training, the generator is busy trying to fool the discriminator into thinking that its generated data is real, while the discriminator is trying to learn the difference between real data and generated data. Meta trains their GANs on a massive data set with all sorts of images and descriptions. So when you tell their text-to-speech what you want it to draw, it uses that data set to give you an amazing image that fits what you just described. You know Meta's text-to-speech is still under development, but if you look at some of the results, you'll ask yourself how much better it can get. Because even now it's giving us some amazing results. There are paintings of a zebra riding a bike, for example. This, however, sounds easier than it already is, because even for a company like Meta, bringing this tech to its full potential is far from easy. Engineers at Meta are having a hard time trying to balance this tech. On the one hand, they're trying to make images that look super real, like you'd think they were actual photographs. But on the other hand, Meta wants to add a touch of creativity to make them unique and stand out. Sometimes the images produced are so realistic and accurate that they end up just being okay and even really boring to look at, like it gets obsessed with getting down to nailing the details that it forgets to add that spark of creativity that makes an image interesting and captivating. But on the other hand, it gets super creative and then goes all out with its imagination, giving you images that are straight up mind-blowing and unique. But here's the catch to it. The image the AI gives out may not be realistic or close to what you described, and you end up with something you didn't expect at all. The AI does mess up a lot, and it isn't so accurate. You might ask for a beach sunset with palm trees and waves crashing on the shore, and the AI would end up giving you something close to it, like a hurricane on the beach. That's just one of the examples of how it could mess up. This inconsistency often happens because teaching a machine to fully understand the human language and dialects isn't so easy. It's rather tough, actually, to make the machine match the words perfectly into images. There could be a thousand reasons why this happens, like limitations in the training data, because you need a lot of data to train a model to make images, or it could be because of the language used in the prompt itself being too complex for the machine to understand. If you know anything about AI and work with AI, then you surely know how important it is to keep the data balanced like not having any favourites when it comes to training and processing the data. It's not exactly uncommon for AI to pick up bias data while training, and this happens a lot. So the AI might start showing results based on the stuff it learned, and in the case of Meta's text-to-speech, it's possible the data it's trained on might have more white people in it than people of colour, for example, and any other race, which is not cool at all. But it's not like the technology is doing this on purpose. It's just learning from what data it has available. However, the meta engineers are on it. These guys are working hard and making sure that this doesn't happen by balancing the data and fine tuning the algorithm so it gives off better results. This technology by meta has some great benefits and potential for so many kinds of good things. This tech will seriously change the world. Imagine an artist using this tech to come up with some amazing wild ideas like being able to experiment with different colours, make up some unique sculptures, even come up with some seriously mind-blowing animations. Designers can level up and come up with some amazing marketing materials that we've never seen before, guaranteed to make their client's product pop. Even writers can use it to come up with some serious epic stories and add relevant images next to them to make reading books a lot more enjoyable. 
different businesses could use this AI to start getting ideas for personalized marketing recommendations that will be spot on, targeted ads, while in education you can get a much more interactive and visual learning experience that will probably stop making you yawn whenever you open your textbook. Healthcare companies can now get much more realistic images related to medicine and completely change the medical world. If you're an entrepreneur and want to launch a new product and you want eye-catching visuals for your ads or packaging, by describing what you want in words, the text-to-image tech can give out high-quality, realistic images to perfectly fit your vision. There are so many ways we can use this tech to make communication a lot easier, especially for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. But how can that help them? By taking a text as input and turning it into a visual so they can get what it is you're trying to explain to them so they don't feel like they're being left out of conversations or missing out on anything important. Or in the case of a blind person, perhaps they could now describe a situation to someone who can see so that the sighted person gets it and the communication barrier is shattered. There are people out there who have something called a reading disability. But this AI could help them the most by opening a whole new world of visual learning and information alongside the written text so that the person with the reading issue can finish their research or whatever they're reading a lot quicker. But with any other technology, especially with something as powerful as AI, there are risks to it. One of the highest risks you simply can't ignore is misinformation. There's a very high chance with text to image that it can be used to generate fake images to spread misinformation or disinformation. Since this tech has the power to make very realistic images, some of the bad guys out there who would do anything to get you in trouble could use this technology and make it look so authentic that it'll be hard to believe when you tell anyone it's not real and they could seriously ruin your reputation. And then there's the issue of biases we discussed earlier. Imagine the model starting to discriminate because of the stereotypes present in the data it was trained on, like if the data keeps on training the tech on images to focus on just one stereotype, then this could lead to unfair and harmful representations of people of certain groups. Believe it or not, privacy is a big issue here too. Since the machine is about giving you realistic images, well, there could be images of people generated without their consent. And what if these images end up in the wrong hands? The person could get harassed or have some fake content published under their photo that could ruin their personal and professional life. But what do you think about Meta's text to image? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to always be updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.